This is literally the greatest news I have heard all day. Oh my fucking god. Jim, get fucked. Jim Acosta tweeted out at 7.46 uh, tonight. He said, I have been denied entrance to the White House. Secret Service has informed me I cannot enter the White House grounds for my 8 p.m. hit. Hmm, I wonder why that is, Jim. Turns out Sarah Sanders has the full story for us. She basically talks about uh, you know, Trump believes in free press, all that stuff, and the behavior by CNN today was so bad that they are suspending Jim Acosta's press credentials. Holla fucking Luya. And I'm going to show you some clips later of how awful Jim Acosta is, but what he did today was truly terrible. Um, and what he literally did was, is he was with the reporters uh, asking a question, and he kept going, 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 and they were t Trump was, t you know, he already asked his questions, and Trump told him, stop it, you've had your turn, let's move on, and he wouldn't give up the mic. And so somebody tried to take it from him, a White House aide, and he pushed her arm out of the way. That crossed the line. And so that's why Sarah Sanders rightfully called it out. Um, and, of course, the shitstorm has erupted from that. And Sarah Sanders then followed up by tweeting out the video of it happening. And you can clearly see his arm right here, like karate chopping it. I know I'm exaggerating a bit for humor's sake. But you can see Jim Acosta pushing her arm away so that she doesn't grab the mic. See, right there. You see her arm move down. She has like a little shock in her face. But people are calling it a lie. They're saying she never did this. It's absolutely ridiculous. And CNN, what did they have to say about this? They said, quote, The White House announced tonight that it has revoked the press pass of CNN's chief White House correspondent, Jim Acosta. It was done in retaliation for his challenging questions at today's press conference. Where the fuck in Sarah Sanders' statements did she say that at all? She didn't. It was because he touched a White House aide. He put his hands on her and pushed her arm away because he couldn't give up the mic when his turn was over. Jim, this is a privilege to be in the briefing room. This is a privilege, okay? Trump sets the rules and you have to live by them. Tough luck. You got your three questions answered and you what just wasn't enough for you so you had to play victim and now CNN is literally mind reading, hallucinating, and spouting fake news right here. But it gets better. In an explanation, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders lied. Okay, how? She provided fraudulent accusations and cited an incident that never happened. Did you guys look at the video? This unprecedented decision is a threat to our democracy. We're not democracy. And the country deserves better. Yeah, they, de they deserve better than CNN and Jim Acosta. Jim Acosta has our full support. <laughs> How the fuck can you stand by this guy? And look, they put the video right below it of it happening. Right up, oh, there it is. Puts his hand on her. What are you talking about? It never happened. It literally happened right there. Jesus Christ. He's gesturing. No, he isn't. See, people are believing this shit. It's peak two movies on one screen, as Scott Adams would say. People are seeing two different realities, even though we have the same set of facts. It's unbelievable. But that's what you get with bias. And Ben Shapiro, even a fucking so-called conservative, is saying it didn't happen either. See? Sarah Sanders says, tie a reporter placing his hands on a young woman. That is literally what he did. And Ben Shapiro, the great Ben Shapiro, uh, the intellectual, is saying that it didn't happen. It did yeah, and this is what I've been calling Ben out. This is where I lost my respect for Ben Shapiro, was that he defended Michelle Fields over a bullshit story. Yeah, she said she was yanked to the ground by Corey Lewandowski. The video shows she was barely touched, and Ben Shapiro rage quit Breitbart because of that. I mean, Jesus. 
Uh, Paul Joseph Watson did have a comment on here, like, going after him, but it's gotten buried. And let's see the full uh, video, the full takedown of Jim Acosta, because it is genuinely hilarious. And, I mean, it's worth just watching because it's so funny. So let's take a look at this. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to challenge you on, on one of the statements that you made in the tail end of the campaign. Uh, in, in the midterms. That here, this, here we go. That, well, if you don't mind, Mr. President, <laughs> this caravan was an invasion. As you know, yeah, Mr. I, I President... It is. As you know, Mr. President, caravan was not an invasion. It's a How? I don't get this bullshit argument that's not an invasion. Everybody's got this relative definition of invasion. It's a, a group of migrants moving up from Central America towards the border with the U.S. Thank you for telling and me that. I why, why, did you, <laughs> why did you characterize it as such? Because it's persuasive and it's kind of what it is. Have you heard of marketing or campaigning? Uh, because I consider it an invasion. You and I have a difference of opinion. But do you think Whoa, earth shattering. You demonized immigrants. <laughs> oh my God. He's married to a fucking immigrant. We have to go over this again. The guy likes immigrants. He just doesn't like illegal. Stop grouping them all together under just immigrants. You're lying. You are fake news. I want them. I want them to come into the country, but they have to come in legally. You know, they have to. Come Thank you. In Jim through a process. I want it to be a process, and I want people to come in, and we need the people. Your you campaign. Wait, your wait, campaign. Wait. You know why we need the people, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> it's the best part. Companies moving in. We need the people. But your campaign had an ad showing migrants climbing over walls and well, so on. Because they were. It, 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 but it, they weren't actors. They're not going to be doing they that. They weren't actors. <laughs> oh, we got uh, Jim, uh, the conspiracy uh, theorist, Alex Jones Acosta right here. They're actors. Well, no, it's true. Do you think they were actors? Uh, they weren't actors. They didn't come from Hollywood. Uh, these, were, <laughs> these were people. This was an actual... You know, it happened a few days ago, and uh, they're hundreds of miles away. Though they're hundreds and hundreds of miles. You know what? So that doesn't matter. Have you fucking watched Lord of the Rings or fucking Game of Thrones? When there's an invasion of an army, it comes from many miles away. It's not just right next door. You can't, Jim. Invasions can happen from fucking miles away. Jesus Christ. That, that's I not an invasion, should, honestly. Uh, and maybe not in your world, Jim. You should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. <laughs> look, look at look at this report. Just watch her. She smiles through so much because she knows it's fucking funny. Oh, he wrecked him right there. If I may ask one other question, Mr. President, if I may ask one This is where it starts. That's enough. That's enough. Mr. President, that's enough. Okay, let's stop it right here, just so that we all have the facts straight. He asked like three questions right there. And maybe we didn't ask some sometimes right questions, more just a debate. It was moral grandstanding, but that doesn't matter. He had his time, he got his question in, and Trump's moving on to ask another report. And he's refusing to stop and give up the mic. It's not your turn, Jim. You had it. You're done. We're moving on to the next person. And if you're silencing them and preventing them from speaking, that's anti freedom of the press, Jim. Is that a threat to democracy or what? Folks, that's had, enough. Oh, there it is. Um, um, Mr. Excuse President, me. that's enough. Mr. President, I had one other Peter, question if I may ask on, on the Russia investigation. Are you concerned that that you may have I'm not concerned about anything with you the may have Russian investigation because it's a hoax. Are you, that's enough. Put down the mic. He answered another question and he just fucking unloads on him even more. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? <laughs> Trump starts fucking walking over and he gets scared. He knows he's gonna get fucked. Oh my god, that was great. <laughs> Trump's just like, fuck this, I gotta do it myself. Mr. President, I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. Yes. I, I think that's You're a very rude person. The way you treat Sarah Huckabee is horrible. Yes. And the way you treat other people are horrible. 
You shouldn't treat people that way. Go ahead. <laughs> in, in, go ahead, Jim, Peter. Go ahead. In, in Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts. Well, his I'm not a big fan of yours either. <laughs> to be honest. So let, me, so let me ask you a question if I can. Yes. You are, you are the best, Mr. President. You. Really oh, 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 he fucking just. I. Oh, he's so sharp on his feet. He just didn't skip a beat, and he got him. Ah, oh, Trump BTFOs. It's the best. Of course, Jim isn't done. He gets back up and got the death stare here by Trump. He's not going to take his shit. The course okay, of the just sit down, please. <laughs> well, when you, when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. Mr. Get Mr. fucked. Over the, course, over the course of the last several days of the campaign, sir. sir wow. Talk about beat down. You just got wrecked, Jim. You really did. He is everything wrong with journalism. Everything wrong with it. He is the worst of the worst. And if you need a reminder of that, this um, reporter from the Daily Wire, Ryan Saverda, or Saverda, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he made a great thread of all of the highlights of Jim Acosta being an asshole. This, of course, is my favorite one. I'll, I'll play this one because it's just classic. I, I remember watching this live. It was great. Oh. No, Mr. President-elect, Mr. President-elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not you. <laughs> your organization. You're, you are attacking our news organization, <laughs> organization. can you give us a chance yeah, to ask go. a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can quiet, you state... Quiet, quiet. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? I'm not going to give you a question. Can you state categorically... You are fake news. Oh, yes. categorically that nobody... They fucking clap. I forget who's clapping, but holy fuck, that was a classic Trump moment. Just goes, you are fake news, and fucking moves on. He's interrupting people. Trump, he does, Jim Acosta pulls a stunt all the time. Trump asks him a question, he gets an answer, doesn't like it, because it's not. It's, he's never going to like it. So Jim Acosta plays victim, tries to become a celebrity, and interrupts Trump to play victim, to act so that Trump... Because he knows Trump's going to ask another report question because it's not his turn anymore. He's going to go, oh, this is attacking free press. He's not answering my questions. And so Trump just fucking didn't give in to his shit and moved on, insulted him. And Jim is preventing other reporters from asking questions. Like, there's one that's not in this thread, but where Jim is, uh, and they're in after a ceremony and everybody's clapping. And then Jim Acosta is asking a question while they're clapping, and he tweets out that Trump didn't respond. Well, you're in the back of the fucking room, and you're asking a question while everybody's clapping. No, he didn't fucking hear you. And, of course, he interrupted the historic signing ceremony with North Korea by shouting questions about Otto Linebeer, who the North Koreans killed. I mean, don't fucking say that in front of him. I mean, Jesus Christ, you could destroy a deal a peace deal you could destroy world peace he was you know caught on a hot mic saying some shit too uh so definitely check this thread out especially want to see jim get uh cucked by trump uh, this is the one where he wouldn't leave the white uh over office when they were asking him to uh and he just interrupts all the time he's terrible Oh, here it is. I forgot. I guess I didn't see it in the thread earlier. But yeah, here's the part where he's screaming this question. But nobody can... Oh yeah, this guy tells him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's during a ceremony. And he can't hear. He's in the back. Yeah, Jesus, Jim. Look at this man. Oh my god. He is awful. He just walks the fuck out. Get fucked, Jim. I have no sympathy for you. I'm glad your press credentials were removed. I'm glad. You do not deserve them. It's a privilege you don't deserve. I'm 100% for free press. But you are stifling free press. You are preventing other reporters from asking questions. And you put your hands on a White House aide. That was unnecessary. And you weren't following protocol. Get fucked. You deserve it.